In this video I'm going to show you how or the machining process of the HE351VE compressor housing to the 67 millimeter. This is one that's already done. First off, don't cut or don't take out this anti-surge piece, this piece right here, or else you'll be stuck with this and I can't do anything with that. Uh, that's like the second or third one that I got like that and I can't even do a job with it. So anyway. You machine this down so that I can grab it on the machine and then machine the other side. Now the VE model does have the V-band. Don't confuse that with the HE351 which doesn't have the V-band. So this one you can take the seal ring out but with the VE model it's not designed like that. The seal ring, this piece right here, uh, or silencer is this whole piece here so don't cut these tabs off either because then you won't have this cylinder also don't machine the inlet too far for where you need to grab it on the machine because the pins will start to show through and it's possibility that they could fall out and through the inlet so here's a compressor wheel that we're using it's a 67 by 89 by 95 and I'll link to all the parts in the description, mainly just the shaft. And then there's the uh, 60 or a 67 by 70 turbine that's specific for the VE, so it works with the VGT system. So let's get started with the machining process. So if you machine the chucks properly where they're surfaced here, you can just slap it up against the chucks and grab it and don't even worry about trying to line it up with this because this is not going to be right so just go ahead and push that on there and then tighten it and don't like warp it or anything but yeah you know, once you get it on there then you you are going to surface that because this is going to be wrong because where they push these pins in there Here I'm showing you where the machine tells you how long the last program took to cycle and it also shows you the current time. And here is the X and Z coordinates in real time. And there's your spindle speed. I can easily turn that up with the push of a button. And here's the program that I wrote for this. So far I've written about 50 programs. And had the machine for less than a year and here is the offsets for the tool 3 I this is information that I enter based on where the part is <laughs> Here's the finished product of the radius and the inside diameter board. Now I do have to clean this up right here, but I have a special tool for that. Here's what it looks like after polishing and all the machining. I hope you liked 
watching a little bit behind the scenes of the machining process of that compressor housing. If you haven't seen the whole build where I talk about it, I'll go ahead and link to that. I think I call it something like 2008 Dodge Ram uh, 6.7 turbo upgrade or something like that. So I'll go ahead and link to that if you haven't already seen that. And I talk more in depth about that turbo build. And you could always give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or a comment. And, and I'll try and get back to you if you have any questions.